Anthony Mortorado is the general manager of Safe Care Mobility Services in Albany. It was a completely normal day for me anyway. He's been a medical transportation driver for 20 years. You want people to be comfortable. You want people to feel like they got a great service. They're going to come back. I pride myself on that. On the afternoon of December 7th, Anthony had just dropped off a client at St. Peter's Nursing and Rehabilitation Center on Hackett Boulevard in Albany, a place he knows well. They all know me. My mother used to work at 301 Hackett as the receptionist. Barb was a friend of my mother's. After knowing Anthony for so many years, he goes above and beyond for lots of people. Just as he was about to leave to pick up his next client. For a light skinned male, black coat, black sweatpants, collar, CTSA shotgun in his hoodie, and a report of one shot hurt. Little did Anthony know, not too far away, Albany police were notified of a shots fired incident. Key Bank security said a white male was trying to take the sign down in front of the temple. That temple, Temple Israel, just hours before the first night of Hanukkah. The passerby said that he went down White's Road. As Anthony was pulling out of the parking lot of the nursing facility. The assailant with the gun was coming up over that grass um, and I seen the shotgun in his left, I believe it was his left arm. What is your first initial thought and reaction? Get the gun. This is a Sam Sarah camera. It records inside and outside of the vehicle. A security camera shows Anthony's interaction with him. Police say that man is 28-year-old Mufid al Qader. So I went up to him and I said, whoa, 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 where are you going, buddy? He goes, they're killing my people, they're killing my people. You know, I got him to hand me the, the shotgun. 301 Hack Boulevard, suspect possibly in the lot there. I'm calling 911 to say, you know what I mean, I got the shotgun from this guy. As I'm doing that, he goes, well, I have another gun. He had a fanny pack and he starts reaching for the fanny pack. I was just so thankful for the APD that got here in time. He must have seen them from behind me coming around me, so he slumped down right on the side of my van. One detained Hackett and South Manning. Law enforcement officials say there was not a second gun. But yeah, my heart, you see me at the end of the video, I'm like this. Yeah, my heart was a little shaky there. It wasn't until police showed up and St. Peter's Nursing and Rehabilitation Center was on lockdown that Barb knew something was happening. When I saw him standing there, I knew he wasn't hurt, so that <laughs> that was a relief for me right there. Later, she learned of Anthony's bravery. And he's my superhero without a cape, you know what I mean? So it was, it was great to see that he was okay and we were okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a little shell-shocked with the whole thing, but that was just the right thing to do. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.